So today we'll, we'll just be going through um, post mortem or peak, obviously. Um, we won't be going into too much about like sampling tissues and stuff, which would also form part of a uh, thorough post mortem. But um, for today, we've, we've just gone through the process. Um, and uh, I suppose ideally we would perform it in fresh tissue or fresh, freshly dead carcasses, but with these ones have been frozen, so keep that in mind. Um, and um, we'll go through and try and familiarise ourselves with what, what looks normal, keeping in mind also that some of these ones might have illnesses, and that's why they, they have um, been, been euthanised. Um, but as we walk around, we'll, we'll be able to point out if there's any abnormalities that uh, are present. Um, and there might also be abnormalities that are normal for post-mortem changes, so um, things like the pooling of blood, so if they've died on their, on their left side, the gravitation will pull off of the blood, will settle on that left side, so the, especially in pigs it's really obvious to see it, they might have like a purplish appearance to one side or different areas, that will depend on the position of them lying when, when they're dead. Um, so that's an important thing to remember as well. So the first step is to do your, a, a good, good thorough external exam. Um, I usually do my animals in left lateral currency, left, so left side down, because that's what we've sort of been taught in, in later years. Um, some people do it in right as well, but I thought I'd keep it consistent, because that's what the pathologists have, have taught me here. Um, but I suppose the aim is to just make sure you try and do it in a systematic approach each time, so you go through and almost have a checklist in your head so you don't, don't miss anything. So first of all, we want to, I suppose, Identify what animal it is, if it has any an ear tag, or make sure if it's female, male, and then also any any other obvious external lesions. So, looking at its eyes, looking at its mouth, nostrils, in between its toes, flipping him over if there's any skin lesions, um, and also having a look at look at body condition as well. All right. So from here, what we what I normally do is make an incision under the, the ex, axilla region or under the armpit, and then reflect this arm back. So that's underneath the scapula, removing that from from that side, and then the same again. Um, into the hip joint. Try not to incise into the abdomen when you're doing this part. Um, this is a good good opportunity to just have a quick look at the, the hip joint here, make sure it's not the cartilage is nice and smooth and we've got that, that sticky scenario fluid there too. Um, from here what we want to do is incise, make an incision sort of from the from the chin all the way Eventually, just join that up down the midline. If you've got a male, we usually leave that on the um, on the lower side. So we're just inciting through the skin. You can see the penis there on my. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera or not. Be able to see it on yours, and then from here we just want to cut. So you can either use your scalpel to, to sort of cut away the skin and the subcutaneous tissue, or you can also do a bit of blunt dissection as well. So sticking your your scissors in underneath like that, and then opening them up, or using a bit of sort of a blunt dissection, and as well as a cutting cutting action too. Um, using blunt dissection you're probably less likely to sort of pierce the abdominal cavities so that's why that's probably a useful method to use and then sort of at this stage we can assess sort of um, the amount of fat that's present so that'll give us a, another indication of the, of the body condition of the animal um, looking at also the colour of the, the musculature and the fat as well so um, if it's pale it might indicate that the animal was anemic or if it's yellow, it might indicate that the animal was, was jaundiced and had, had potentially a liver, liver issues. So.
So I might get you guys to go and get up to that that's it, that um, stage, and then we'll come back and what we'll do next is we'll open up the abdomen um, and the thorax as well.